Alright folks, I know it looks a little strange when it's turned that way in the viewer for you, but I wanted to give you exactly what the suit looks like all together. Okay, so let's go ahead now and kind of go over what I did here. You can see I've got one giant piece of metal rod up here, and that's actually a piece of uh, big all thread all the way underneath this. And I've got some caps over it so you can't tell it's all thread. And what this allows you to do is make sure the hang is exactly where you need it to be on your shoulder. And you want it just slightly out, just like it looks like right there. Slightly out pitched from your shoulder. And that way if you ever pick anything up, it can't actually be pressed into you in any way. It'll actually swing out from you just slightly. And since your shoulders are not actually engaged in the system directly, that'll be a nice straight line when it hangs weight on that single arm. Let me go ahead now and just really quickly go over exactly how I made this work. You can see here a bunch of nuts with threads through them and what I was able to do with that is create a multi-directional joint. As you can see here, I can just turn this in any different direction I want. That's really crucial for feeling like you've got that range of motion you want in a uh, all metal suit. And you can see up here I've got a whole nother system of ranges of motion. That thing spins, it rotates up and down. And you can see all of those different rotations on there. All right, let me show you this arm real quick here. So if I hold the whole arm out and you watch those two bars, you notice how they fulcrum against each other, kind of pivot off the center there. That creates a really neat actuation on your arm. Uh, the way your forearm is held in here is really cool. Just comes out like that. You open up your brace, you set your forearm up in there and this whole brace all at once comes in just like this, snaps into this groove, if I can do this with one hand for you guys, just like that. And it locks into place so now your arms fully locked in to the exoskeleton and instead of having multiple points of where you get locked in just like your feet and the rest of this system you have one point just down your forearm and that does a pretty good job allowing you full range of motion and like I said because that's going to be a straight line when you pull a lift on this that's going to give you a nice straight line lift so let me go ahead set this up put the suit on and I'm going to show you what it looks like in action all right folks so here we go I'm going to go ahead now, get into the exoskeleton suit and show you how quick this is. You've already seen the lower end of this. I'm going to go ahead and do this all again as a process. First of all, you're going to want to step onto your first foot pad. And really quickly, just throw the strap over your foot and throw the nut on there. There's going to be a lot of easier ways you can do this, obviously. A lot faster ways that you can hold your foot down. So that one's in. You go ahead and get over here. Get that foot in. All right, so there we go. There's both of our feet locked into place. Now the next thing, once again, you're gonna wanna do is back up into your torso. You got your shoulder straps over your arms. Get your belt ready to go. Let's go ahead and stick it through there just like that. Pull this one down, stick it through just like that. Give me a moment on this belt loop. This is not the best belt loop for this project, but it's what I had. All right, so there we go. Now for the arms, you're just going to make sure they're twisted the right way, stick your hand up just like that, fold this metal bar over until it clicks and now I'm into the arm. Look at that folks, isn't that neat? Alright, so the other arm here, once again you're just going to hold it up, flip it over until it clicks and now I'm into both arms. Let me get myself off this hook, oh, there we go, so now here we are. Get my hat positioned. You can see how nicely I can run around, I can jab. You know, you got a lot of, you can speed box if you wanted to. You got a lot of motions. That's what I've been trying to do with this suit system. Let me grab the camera, set it up outside so you can kind of see what's going on. First of all, let me just give you a nice up front, up close look of how that's following my arm. You can see it's working really pretty well, folks. Nice, easy, agile movements. If you want to lift something, what's going to happen is that's going to tug down on this all the way from above my shoulder directly in line and not be on my arms actually. So now exoskeletons have become something all of us can build. Well here we are walking into the future folks when you can go with some simple tools and some simple materials and you can put yourself together a pretty capable exoskeleton suit that you can do whatever you want to do in. Alright, so I want to just kind of go up real close here to the camera. Focus more on the upper side of this. So you can see it here. I'm just kind of moving around a lot. Trying to show you just what's going on here. How this is going to hold the weight when we go to lift something right here 
all of that weight should be generated right to that. And it's not going to be draining on me in any way. All right, so here's our last parts of this project. We now need to power this somehow. Obviously, I don't have the finances if you look into the price of nitinol to build the entire exoskeleton out of nitinol tubing, just like the tubing you see here. One solid piece going all the way down your legs, everything. Preset bends in the nitinol with your Peltier chips on either side of those bends. That would easily be the future of not only exoskeleton technology, but possibly robotics, folks. But you can see here with some simple tools, some very simple equipment, I can put together something that lets me do, once again, my dance in a full exoskeleton. Well, as you can tell, I've really enjoyed this project. The engineering of putting together something like this that kind of mimics the motions of a human body, I found kind of a challenge. I enjoyed it a lot. It wasn't quite as hard as I thought it was going to be, so I'm pretty sure everybody out there can do this. One of the ways we're going to power it, we're going to power it, like I said, with night and all, but we're only going to do one leg as a test on that. Uh, I can't afford to do the entire suit with night and all, obviously. So we're going to try to find some other way to power a lot of this suit up so that we can have a lot of fun running around in our own home-built exoskeleton suit. Until next time, folks, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teflonian.